It's a basic contract law principle that a promise without consideration isn't enforceable. But because this principle sometimes causes unfairness, courts have developed the promissory estoppel doctrine, under which a promise that induces a promisee's detrimental reliance may be binding. The court explains promissory estoppel in Stewart v. Sendent Mobility Services. Elizabeth Stewart and her husband worked for Sendent Mobility Services, which provided relocation services for corporations and their employees. Stewart was a top salesperson, and her husband was an executive. Following a corporate reorganization, Sendent discharged Stewart's husband. Expecting that her husband was likely to seek employment with a Sendent competitor, Stewart spoke with James Simon, her immediate supervisor, and Sendent's executive vice president of sales. Stewart asked Simon how her job might be affected if her husband went to work for Ascendant Competitor. Simon assured Stewart that she had no reason to be concerned, telling Stewart that he trusted and respected her. Simon also spoke to Ascendant's president and relayed to Stewart that the president stated that he had tremendous respect for Stewart and that there would be no problem with Stewart continuing in her job if her husband went to a competitor. Based on these assurances, Stewart chose not to look for another job elsewhere. As a top salesperson in the industry, Stewart would likely have been able to secure a new job that would pay her a signing bonus sufficient to compensate for the loss of her commissions accrued but not yet paid at Sendent. When Sendent learned that Stewart's husband had begun consulting for a Sendent competitor, Sendent reduced Stewart's duties and limited her interactions with clients. Sendent also asked Stewart to agree to a document setting out her obligations to Sendent with respect to her husband's work on behalf of any competitor. When Stewart refused, Sendent fired her, at which point she had accrued more than $800,000 in unpaid commissions. Stewart sued Sendent in state court on a promissory estoppel theory. Stewart claimed that she had decided to remain at Sendent and not pursue other employment opportunities because she had relied on Simon's assurances that she wouldn't suffer any adverse job consequences if her husband worked for a competitor. The jury found for Stewart and awarded her $850,000. After denying Sendent's motions to set aside the verdict and for judgment notwithstanding the verdict, the trial court rendered judgment for Stewart. Sendent appealed to the Connecticut Appellate Court. The Connecticut Supreme Court transferred the case to itself. 